Hello, writers. We have been working so hard on creating true stories from our lives. We add lots of colors. We add lots of details. And we go back and add labels or words. Today, we're going to learn a special way that you can add words, a totally different way that you can try to add words. This will turn you into Mo Willems. Mo Willems writes books like Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus or Elephant and Piggy. Mo Willems also writes Cat the Cat. Mo Willems uses lots of bum, 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 speech bubbles. Can you say speech bubbles? Everything that comes out of your mouth could be in a speech bubble. All right, let's draw it. It comes out, and then it goes around, and then it comes back in. It's like a little arrow, and then it goes around. And all your words are in your speech bubble. La, la, la. You can't see it. No, you can't see it. But sometimes authors and illustrators use speech bubbles to show what their characters are saying. And you can try to do that in your writing too. It's really fun. So today I'm going to show you some speech bubbles in this story. It's called Who Flies Cat the Cat? And this is Cat the Cat. And she's saying in her little speech bubble, Can you fly? Mo Willems loves speech bubbles, and so do I, and so will you. Hi, I'm Cat the Cat. My friends can fly. Be the bee. Can you fly? Watch me. See his speech bubble? Watch me. Here's hers. Go, be the bee. Buzz, 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 Speech bubble. Keep looking for speech bubbles. Bird the bird. Can you fly? Here it is, guys. Watch me. Here it is. Go, bird the bird. Flap, 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 Okay, keep your eyes peeled for speech bubble. Bat the bat, can you fly? Oh. Something looks weird with those words. It's upside down like the bat. Watch me. Here it is. Go, bat the bat. Flutter, 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 flutter. Speech bubbles. Silly rhino, the rhino, you can't fly. Do you see it, pigeon? Speech bubble. Oh, yeah? Watch me. How is he going to fly? Come on. Zoom! I guess he can. Watch us all fly. So today, writers, we are going to be adding speech bubbles to our stories. Let me show you how. First, you're gonna draw your story like you always do with lots of colors and lots of details. I already started drawing this story when my family went for a walk across the Friendship Bridge, the Friendship Trail or the Trestle Trail, and we were looking at beautiful fall colors and we were looking at the water. So now I'm going to think of what I want my characters to say and I'm going to put those words in a speech bubble. So let me move my camera down a little bit. I think I want um, Mrs. Motter here to do some talking. Here's Mr. Motter or Matt. This is Macy. 
This is Mrs. Matter and this is Mallory. So I'm going to put a speech bubble coming out of Mrs. Matter's mouth. No, Mrs. Matter's over here. And I'm going to have her do some talking. She's going to say, wow, because I thought those trees were really pretty. So she's going to say, wow. So think about what you want your character to say. So I'm going to try to make a speech bubble like this. I could make kind of like an arrow shape or a triangle shape or a little sideways V. And then I want to make a nice big bubble so I can fit my word in there. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to try to say, wow. Now remember, I can always use my ABC chart to help me, guys. Wah, wah, window. Wah, wah, wow. Wow. Wow, ow, 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 ow. What says ow? I think it looks like this. I've seen the word wow somewhere. Wow! And I was shouting it because I really liked those. Wow! I was shouting. Look at those trees. Wow! And I want Macy to say, look, because she was pointing at some cool trees. So I'm going to have Macy say, look. I'm going to make a little kind of arrow. And then I want kind of a bubble. Whoops, I almost ran into Mr. Matter's head. Oh, that's okay. Now I'm going to try to make Macy say, look. Stretch it out with me. Look. What do you guys hear? I hear kind of an L. Like Liam and Lion. Look. Oh, what do you guys hear? Look. Look. It kind of sounds like a C. Or maybe a K. Look. I'm going to put a period at the end because she was just telling me to look. So I tried to become Mo Willems today. Wow. I tried to add speech bubbles to my writing. Oh my goodness. <gasps> what a challenge today, friends. You are going to be working so hard. I'm so proud of you when you try things that are new and tricky. Oh, it just makes your brain better. You do the writing, folks. Not your sister, not your brother, not your mom and dad. You. Don't let them spell to you. Say no. No, no. Mrs. Matter said I have to try. That's what you tell them. No. Don't tell me the answer. No, no. I need to do my best. Oh, you tell them that. Don't let your people help you. It's your job to work really hard. Think of those sounds. Write them down. Say it. Boop, and write it down. You can do it. You can do it. Speech bubble. I can't wait to see your writing. Bye-bye.